Well, well, well. It's starting to happen. It's getting cooler outside. And this gentleman brought this in. Smart. I have not started it. I don't know what's going on. The only thing that I'm happy about is that the rubber paddles are in excellent condition down here. There's lots of wear on them left. Isn't that wonderful? So I am just going to... Uh, what's the instructions? I think you got to have the key in it. you got to stick it to Bunny Rabbit. you got to prime it. What's that one say? Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's choke. We probably need some choke too, eh? You got any fuel? I did check the oil. Oh, she's full of fuel. Hmm. Nothing's easy, guys. There we go. Okay, so choked, primed. It's not, is it leaking? Sometimes when you prime them, they gotta leak a little bit. Let's see if she goes. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Let's get my little light here and see what's going on. Ignition in. Out is there. That's just the key. Sorry, guys. Oh, got to go to Bunny, Bunny Rabbit. It was the wrong way. Oh, I wonder. Well, wouldn't that be nice if it's even even if it coughed? percent there. How does the oil look again? This came in a long time ago. I just haven't had time to get to it. Eh? Oil looks perfect. I'm not even going to change the oil. If I, what I might do though is just take the emulsion tube out of the carburetor if I can get at it and uh, have a small look at that. So we'll, uh, do that if we can. <laughs> we got the pender lift here, it's just because this thing's still plugged into the wall, eh? Right? Okay, let's get her up on the pender lift. You think I can uh, just do that? It's not a very heavy unit. Yes, Nick, you're going to give me heck. Oh, I can tilt it. Hey, okay, baby. Still wasn't real easy. Okay. The carburetor. Looks like it's on this side. Carburetor's in behind here. Well, there it is. Yes! Well, I wonder if I can stand it on its nose like a standard. Are you still watching this? Yeah, you kind of are. Uh, like a standard snowblower. 
Well, let's just do this. I want to get the bowl off, and I want to get the jet out. But, 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 but Benny and the jet. One thing about these Honda clones is you you instantly uh, can use a 10 millimeter wrench for most stuff. Okay, so I want you guys to pay attention to this. This is important stuff. This thing's running good, right? It's just it has that uh, small engine, no uh, no flywheel except the flywheel on the motor, no blade. Like a lawnmower has a blade for a flywheel. It has that little miss. You might not be able to cure it. Ah, Papa San. Quite a bit of schmoo in there. Okay, that's good news. So I'm going to get my uh, doctor kit. Doctor, doctor! Tell me the news. Mr. Haney gets most of my musical jokes. Isn't that a nice tool, guys? Now I got another little tool that can coax that out of here. I can even see it. It's coming. Yeah, it's right there, man. Here it is. Good. Now we just got to get the emulsion tube out. That hole is partially plugged. Let's see if I can show it to you. Good. It's going to look a lot better than that when we're done. And let's get that emulsion tube out of there. Is that even possible? Hey, little brass hammer. If I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning. I might have to, uh, just use a small, another thing that this gentleman gave me is a emulsion tube digger outer. That's the name of it. You can look it up in the small engine category. You don't want to go too hard on any of this stuff because it's brass, eh? not coming. I think that the uh, screw is too pointed. Have I got another one in here? Yes, I do. <laughs> too small a screw. I'll be right back. Yeah, so I just tilted the unit down and got the emulsion tube out. And I think you guys, if you watch my channel, you know what I'm going to do next. I'll be right back. All I did was tilt, tilt the blower down uh, 
and the emulsion tube fell out and then I lifted the blower back up because it can leak out of the gas cap or it can leak out of this carburetor here. Okay, first we're going to start with these. They're called micro drill bits. Ten pieces. Uh, if you need, here I'll just hold that right up there. Maybe you can read that. Hit pause if you have to. And uh, I'm using, I start with the first one. And I work my way up. Because this is a very small jet. So there we go. That one fits. It's just touching on the edges. So we take the next one. Oh, and it's... Well, that's a tough one. Is that gas I'm pulling out of there? Or is that brass I'm pulling out of there? Gas or brass? But these are nice because they have a nice little thumb wheel on them. The old style are right here. And uh, they came in a plastic package but it, it, it the cover doesn't last very long so I put them in a little bag and we gotta get some juice <clears throat> and I'm using less of this these days you guys just because I get such a rough time some air through there now we're going to have a look and see, oh yeah, we'll be able to do a compare. Much bigger. So I don't think we need to uh, take any more than that. I'm going to wash this bowl out. Not bad. Oh, there's the seal. Let's just get a wire brush and we'll get a giver here. That's much better. Still a little brownness right under the screw, of course. That's the drain screw for the... People never use that. I don't think they use that at all. If any of you guys use this other screw to drain the carburetor bowl in the winter, let me know. Curious. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now the emulsion tube. Let's get the emulsion tube cleaner outer tool. And what I've done with them now is I've put one on each end. If you can see that, I've put, uh, how do we do this? I've put one on this end, right there, and then one with a T or an L on it on this end. And I'll film this, but I might fast forward. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14 holes in this thing. <laughs> Craziness. Okay, let's count them off. One. Okay, let's just do a spray and see if it comes out in a nice star pattern. All the holes. Use the force, Bruce.
It's hard to see those little holes the older you get. Now the upper ones, and I'll wash my hands. Good. Blow the blow the uh good now I should be able to see through them. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. And one through the base. That's good, that's clean. I think that's got it. Now I'm gonna put it back together again, back on this little chenot blower and see if it runs any better. Actually it ran pretty darn good, didn't it? But before we do that, I'm not going to film this because you guys give me such a rough time. I'm going to drain the, fil the fuel out of this bad boy. Okay, I've got it on the side, so I might as well stick this carburetor back together again. I can probably just use a standard flat-edged screwdriver on that instead of this T. It's a little bulky. Just so that when I turn it up so upright, it won't leak anymore. Okay, here we go. When it's brass, I learned that from Zippo Varga. I tighten it three times, just so it seats. And then here is the bowl gasket, which is nice to have this on its side, actually. Not quite. I need my little poker tool. I know what it's called, but I just won't use the telephone reference. They call him a spudger. Why doesn't that want to feel like it's in there? There we go. Just went click. We'll see if it leaks when we stand it back up again. Okay, that's good. All right, my friends. I used my little gas sucker. Yes, I'm starting to think more. And, and then I, uh, I uh, took a rag and put it into the tank and got every little last drop of whatever out of there, as long as I don't leave any rag pieces, right? So let's have a little look down there. And it looks really good. Yeah, there's the pickup and there's no gas down there. So now, this should be kind of fun. We'll just get our little flat dish. Pump this up. What I'm trying to do is just remove every little bit of dirt because there's this problem might come back, this surging issue, if there's any dust at all in it. Eh? I'm not going to change the oil, it doesn't need to be done. It's running pretty good. So, okay, the carburetor is actually right. Well, I guess I could come up with more. <clears throat> and we're going to pull a drain on the carburetor. 
then we'll put some fresh premium no ethanol fuel in it as well. Yeah. Okay, where are we? Right there. We do the side one. Oh, go went the wrong way. Upside down, right? Oh, I did it again. Ha! Oh, wrong one. <laughs> I don't want to take it off again because that little rubber seal. There we go. Shouldn't be much left. Good. Okay. Okay, let's tighten up that one. And we'll just double check this one. And now we can put some gas into this bad boy. I'm just gonna check the gas I got. Be right back. Alright. I'm gonna just do something fun here. I'm just gonna wipe this lens off. Maybe it's a little glary. Eh? A little bit. Oh, well, that'll work. All right, let's just start this guy up. One or two pumps on the... Oh, yeah, well, it does leak when it's priming now. That's okay. Rats them on the rag. And then choke, key in, start her on. Certainly isn't much of a muffler on there, is there? Okay, let's get a nice clean rag. And stick it under there now for a half an hour. And I think we're done. Whoops, come back this way. I'll give a little shot this direction. There's the rag, and we'll just leave it for a half an hour and see if we're leaking. I don't think so. Talk to you later.